it's all about projection. It's you're just a big screen, you know, and it, you're getting it's all being projected on you. I mean, I remember when I think it was the senior Bush at a Republican convention at some point. He was vice presidential nominee. I, I, it was we were doing the show. And he had been talking about America, and he wanted an America like with families like the Waltons. He talked about it. And Cammy said, you know, we're New Deal Democrats. Didn't anybody tell him? You know, we're Roosevelt people. You know, we're WPA people. What is he talking about co-opting our way of life for his political ends? It was always a little bit of that thing going on, where people wanted to use the show um, to illustrate a point about public decency or the way television should be, you know? There ought to be not more clean shows on the air, like the Waltons, all that kind of thing. It, to a man of us and woman of us, we all were offended and bristled at that kind of stuff. Because we didn't want, we were just about a family of people who were, you know, not, um, who were just trying to make it as a family and make it, in, you know, in the society. And we didn't, as a family, and Earl didn't, as a writer, make us a symbol of anything other than what it takes to be a family, you know, during difficult times. Um, so whenever any of us felt that our, that we had to behave in a certain way, or that the role was, was somehow we were a role model of anything other than a human being, you know, that we stood for anything that could even vaguely be considered politically, you know, spiritually sort of mm, defined, like we, we stand for this, it was always a conflict. We never wanted to be that. Uh, and I was a, you know, misbehaving young actor who had been an actor in New York. I was the farthest thing from that kid. You know, I mean, inside, no, but, you know, my way of talking, I mean, I swear like a, I cuss like a sailor. I'm not, you know, I was raised backstage. I, you know, I have a whole other, I had a whole other sensibility going, you know, and they always expect this thing of you, you know, that you, uh, then, not so much maybe now do people expect that. Uh, I think it was more naive then about that, those projections. I mean, I was asked by a group of people I mean, they were, it, was a sort of, it was a Christian organization, and they wanted me to come and read something for their... And, you know, fine, sure. If it had been any organization that I felt like it would be an interesting thing to do, I would have done it, right? But I wasn't there to represent anything. So I decided to go there and read Oscar Wilde's um, uh, story um, of The Selfish Giant, you know, which has a sort of Christian gloss, but which is in, a fa in, in fact a profoundly subversive, you know, uh, story about faith and sexuality and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I don't know whether it landed or not that, that there was, but you try wherever you could <clears throat> to somehow, you know, defeat defeat those expectations to a point. Um, I mean, I've had people come up to me and say, you know, my, my husband has modeled his life, you know, on your, your character and who you are, and, you know, uh, and I'm sure you're this way, you know, you're a good this, you're a good that, you believe in this and you believe in that. It's amazing the things that people impute to you based on a character you play. Mm -hmm. It's crazy.